So Justin Bieber is quitting the music industry. What the freaking hell is this shit? <laughs> He's come in and said, eh, I don't like the way the music industry is going, so he's going to quit the music industry. Oh, flaming hell. Well, that stuff's me right up. I mean, I had it all planned out. I was going to kidnap the little bugger and hold him hostage in the cardboard house just so I could get a bit more publicity for the cardboard house. And now he's gone and done this shit on me. God, blimey. Well, Beebs. I've come up with a second plan. Now, I know you'll be spending money like wildfire, like you always have, um, you know, like all these people do. And you may end up like Britney Spears, where all the money starts to run out and you're going, oh, hell, I can't make the next mortgage payment. But instead of doing what Britney Spears does, which is usually pretty piss weak, you know, she'll get a publicist to ring up the LA Times or, you know, make a media release and then they get this tiny little bit in the LA Times that says, oh, Britney Spears is coming back, and then a few of the other channels, ET and whatnot, pick it up. Oh, Britney Spears is making a comeback, and everybody's like, oh, we've seen all this before. And then she comes out, and she makes like four or five songs, you know, and then she comes out dancing around in a bikini, looking like a greased pig, and brings out either a single or four or five songs, and then that's enough money to keep the mortgage payments up for the next year or two and then uh, she'll run out of money again and then same thing again, oh she's reigniting her career and everybody's like yeah for the fifth time, yeah great well I know you're going to run out of money Beebs and to do it the way Britney does it is just hopeless so when you come back I've got a deal for you I can kidnap you and hold you hostage in the cardboard house and I've got this great camo uniform, I mean it looks freaky, it's almost bordering on ghillie suit, you can't see me face or anything, I've got a whole mesh thing over me face and all that, and uh, you know, it looks real flaming shonky, so I can kidnap you and hold you hostage in a cardboard house, wearing that thing, um, if you really want, I suppose I could learn a bit of Arabic, uh, I know one, Allah Akbar, but that's about it, um, but yeah, you know, basically uh, we can get your career back on track by getting you kidnapped and held hostage in the cardboard house. Um, now, hopefully I don't take the advice of a church member of Troy's who said, uh, you know what, if you did kidnap Beebs and hold him in the cardboard house, um, chances are that you'd actually make more money by threatening to release him back out into the public and uh, basically say, you know, donations to my Swiss bank account through... Um, you know, this website below, uh, otherwise I'm going to let Justin Bieber go, and you'd actually make more money in the long run with the donations to still continue to hold him hostage than you'd actually get ransom money from him and his publicist. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully I, I don't keep that in mind uh, when I got you in there when we're doing the publicity stunt to reignite your career. Um, but, you know, I'm just putting that offer out there, Beebs, that, you know, I know, like, all these famous people, you, you'll spend like wildfire and then you'll run out of money, but don't go and do a Britney Spears. Come and let me kidnap you and hold you hostage in the cardboard house. Uh, and it can work for both of us. And, uh, yes, I'm just putting that out there.